Hey guys, check out this super sweet access panel. Couple of magnets, touch latch, drops down, and boom, I've got access. Nothing super fancy, but very satisfying. Today's build show, all about how we built this. Let's get going. Hey guys, welcome back to my house under construction. This is my pantry, and in the ceiling of my pantry, Right up here, I've got a motor for my remote uh, range hood fan. That's a Fantech motor that I need access to. So check it out. I made a uh, access panel, touch latches right there. Everything's magnetic. So all I'm doing is pulling off the magnets. And then another set of magnets here and these supports that hold it from falling down. Nothing fancy, but really satisfying to use. Let me show you how I built this. We made a frame right here. This is just poplar. And then this is some more poplar that we actually thin down. This is normally three quarter material. We thinned it down to about uh, three eighths so it wouldn't be super thick off the ceiling. The panel itself is just some basic three quarter uh, plywood that we edge banded. And then you're gonna see around the outside of that, we made a bit of a, uh, uh, a rabbit on the outside so it would fit. And then here's what really makes it a success is some cool but not very expensive magnet hardware. So first, touch latches right here. If you're not familiar with the touch latch, when you latch it, or when you touch it I should say, it kind of pushes in and then pushes out. And it's got a magnet here and then it's got two catches which are just bare metal. And so that's what's given that uh, kind of push out feeling. And then on this side we could have done hinges but I wanted to pull this out if I needed to so that in you know 10 years or 20 years if I need to change out this blower someday I can do that. So what I've got here is just some Sugitsune uh, catches and magnets. Now these are rubber coated too, which makes them a, a little bit uh, quieter. And then this is from their fast mount system right here. And this piece is basically this right here, which is mounted up into the ceiling. We put another cross piece on the back of our little frame that we built. And this is kind of neat. It's got a kind of a, uh, uh, I don't know, a sponge on there. So that when that panel comes down, it's got a little bit of cushion. And then the other cool thing about that is these right here can be unscrewed. So if I need to totally remove the panel, I can just unscrew it right here. And now that's gonna come off. So I could actually take this off if I need to. Jorge, my carpenter, did an amazing job. And I love how satisfying this is. Look, we're just gonna pop it in here so the magnets catch. And I can move it around if I need to. And then that touch latch holds. Isn't that cool? Nothing super fancy. But man, it's satisfying. Now I'm going to paint everything in here. So this will get painted the uh, same uh, kind of wall, or pardon me, ceiling color as I've got everywhere, which is basically white. But man, that's a satisfying little piece of hardware. It took us, uh, I don't know, a couple of uh, three or four hours to build this probably in the end. And a few dollars in hardware, but now I've got a really nice access panel. I've kind of avoided all the basic ones and made this a little nicer with some hardware. Big thanks to my friends at Sugitsune. Uh, they've got an amazing catalog, and when I was figuring this out, I kind of marked some pages on the catalog uh, where I was thinking I was gonna use hardware. But the great thing about these guys is they have some really great reps that you can actually call and talk to. So I called my rep and said, hey, here's what I'm thinking. I got the hardware exactly what I needed, and it turned out really, really nice. So I'll put a link in the description for the hardware that I actually used on this project. By the way guys, if you're doing projects like this and using some cool hardware, make sure you put some pictures up on Instagram and tag me. I'm at Reisinger Build on Instagram. I've been putting a lot of uh, Instagram pics and videos up on some of the cool hardware, hidden doors and that sort of thing from my house under construction. Stay tuned for more on that. I've got a lot more to show you. If you're not currently a subscriber guys, hit that subscribe button. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Build show.